A common question a lot of you guys have is, which mic preamp should I buy? I can't tell you that answer definitively, but I'm going to point you to a Sound on Sound magazine article in which they compared a bunch of mic preamps from budget ones to a medium price one, and then they have a bunch of really expensive ones thrown in there as well. The conclusion they came to was really, really interesting. Check it out. So the results were recently released and many people were surprised by the results, including myself. The big surprise was two budget mic preamps, the ART Pro MPA2 and the Mackie XDR fared extremely well compared to preamps that are much more expensive. In fact, the ART was picked as the favorite amongst most people, I believe. It had the most votes or whatever. So here are Hugh Rob John's thoughts on the results. He's the technical editor at Sound on Sound magazine. Overall though, it seems no one could reliably identify any specific preamp, and even where one or two managed to hit in one set they missed in the other, which would imply no better success than random selection. And so there's the message to take away. When used simply to raise the output of a microphone to line level without being deliberately overdriven for effect, and when used within their intended gain structure and headroom design limits, the audible differences between modern preamps are vanishingly small, regardless of price, topology, or active devices. Moving or changing the mics will make massively more difference to the perceived quality. That's not to say that expensive preamps don't offer features and virtues that are worthwhile if they can be afforded. Most certainly do. But if you are seeking to improve the sound of your recordings, the odds are that the preamp isn't the problem. Even if you're using a relatively modest interface or budget mixer preamp. My experience bears that out too. A good engineer can create great recordings using budget equipment quite easily. Inexperienced or unskilled people can't even with the best mics, preamps, converters, and everything else. So it looks like the bottom line is it really doesn't matter which mic preamp you use for recording. This is one step that really doesn't affect audio quality too much as long as you don't push your mic preamp. The more expensive ones are good. Look, they have less noise. They drive better when you push them really hard. They have more gain. You know, sometimes you might have a ribbon mic or a really, really quiet dynamic mic that's not putting out a lot of um, power. But bottom line is, as long as you're not pushing these mic preamps, they all sound about the same. And really what you should concentrate on more and what affects quality more is, Here's the microphone. I just moved my fingers an inch. That matters way more than the quality of your mic preamp and the source of what you're recording. You know, if you're recording a really bad singer through a $3,000 microphone, through a $2,000 preamp, into a $3,000 compressor, into a recording console that costs more than my car, it doesn't matter. That crappy singer is still going to sound crappy and all the auto tuning in the world isn't going to fix that. So again, concentrate on other areas of your production chain prior to worrying about how expensive of, of a preamp you have to, you know, sell your firstborn to acquire cost because um, according to that test, an art tube, um, I, th I think it was the Pro MPA and the Mackie XDR. Now that's the original XDR. The newer Mackie XDRs, the X XDR2, are even better. They have a nicer low end to them and they're a little bit more quiet. So bottom line is you can buy a Mackie, you can buy an Art, or you can waste your money, throw it down the toilet and buy a $2,000 preamp. I don't really care, it's your money. But uh, if you want to save some, bottom line is Mackie and the art are fine. 
This has been Adam for realhomerecording.com.